Hey Kelly, Mr. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> With those glasses, you look like you're coming out of the Matrix. <laughs> and I'm the hippie flower child with the purple glasses. So what do you think? We're off to Santa Cruz now and... Day two. Day number two of our tour. Hey folks, we're documenting our little trip here as we go along just so you can find out what it is we do behind the scenes. So what do you think? Was last night a, a wonderful success? I think it was. I think that the uh, it was really nice for the the students to uh, meet you, and then uh, for the prospective students, I think it gave them uh, a good idea what we're all about. Yeah. So, go green light. Hey, check it out on the road again. I really enjoyed meeting the students. I'm discovering that's what I live for for these things when we go on the road and do the talks and stuff. I just love meeting the students, and and I love getting to. Give them big fat hugs and say howdy and find out who they are and see the face behind the name because so many times a name crosses my desk but I don't really know who they are. And when you get to meet someone in person, you know so much more about people. So much more. And they liked Kelly too. <laughs> you made quite a few friends as well. Yeah. He's the... He plays cameraman slash uh, office manager on the road slash um, helper of handling hotel rooms slash, um, I don't know, driver slash... Too many hats. <laughs> Wear too many hats. <laughs> A lot of hats. But you know, all those hats look good on you. But you're not wearing one right now. I got my, uh, my uh, driver hat on. Oh, you do? Oh, it's my, the invisible my, my driver taxi hat. Driver hat, yeah. <laughs> He's doing the driving while I multitask and do a little bit of editing here. I'm trying to get some editing done. So, you know, just so much to do in so little time. But we contracted time yesterday. We know it happened. What did, what did it, what, from Humboldt, it's supposed to take six hours to get to, um, the center of San Fran, maybe five and a half if you're lucky. Yeah. But we got here in uh, uh, 3 and then 7.15, so it was four hours and 15, 45 minutes. Yeah. So, and we didn't speed that much, maybe a little bit, but not that much. Not as much as you'd think you'd have to to save that much time. I mean, we yeah. saved like an hour and a half. So... We're not quite sure what happened. I did do a little prayer before we left saying, well, I know we're leaving a little late, so please contract some time for us, please. And they did. Yeah, I think we found that wormhole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or we got picked up by a spaceship and dropped off an hour yeah, down the road and we just don't remember it. <laughs> There's a lot of theories. Though. There are. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, fortunately, we're on a very leisurely um, leg the journey today so we don't have to contract time in fact we'd like to expand it now so that we have some more time to poke around in Santa Cruz the lovely town of Santa Cruz one of the most enlightened uh, cities in the United States I read an article in the magazine and that said that um, uh, Arcata, Eugene, Santa Cruz and a couple other, there were like 10 of them that were supposedly the most enlightened cities in the United States. And so we've just left one of them, Arcata, and we're going to another one, Santa Cruz. So I can't remember if San Fran was on that list, but it might be, but I wouldn't be surprised.